so in today's lecture we will see the functions of growth hormone growth hormone that is secreted from the pituitary gland perform two kinds of action on our body one it performs the metabolic effect or affects the metabolic effect of body number two it causes the growth of bone and cartilage of our body now let's see one by one so first come to the metabolic functions of growth hormone metabolically growth hormone affect protein metabolism fat metabolism and carbohydrate metabolism growth hormone affect protein metabolism via insulin like growth factor 1 or somatomedins while the fat and carbohydrate metabolism is affected by direct action of the growth hormone on fat and carbohydrate metabolism so now come to the functions on protein metabolism so as i told you earlier that growth hormone affect the protein metabolism with the help of somatomedin c or igf it causes the protein metabolism with the help of the following mechanism number 1 it increases the amino acid transport entry in the cell so it increases the amino acid concentration into into the cells so it causes the protein synthesis increase inside the cell or it causes the increase in rna translation inside the cytoplasm of the cell and causes increased protein synthesis by the ribosome of rough endoplasmic reticulum so this increase rna translation effect is independent of amino acid transport so by these two mechanism it causes the increase in protein synthesis after secretion of growth hormone in the body so after 24 to 48 hour of its secretion it increases the dna transcription inside the cell so increases messenger rna production and in turn it increases the protein synthesis so by these three mechanism the growth hormone increases the protein synthesis inside the cell of body now come to this uh, fourth one mechanism by which growth hormone decreases the catabolism of protein and amino acids so growth hormone decreases the breakdown of the protein so because of decrease in breakdown of the protein body needs energy so it causes the fat utilization to provide energy to the body so it increases the fat utilization as a resource of fat, resource of energy so by this activity it causes sparing of protein molecule in the body so it is a protein sparer hormone also so it causes positive nitrogen balance inside the body and increases body weight so this is the mechanism by which growth hormone affect the protein metabolism in the body and increases protein synthesis causes positive nitrogen balance and increases body weight now come to the fat metabolism so on the fat metabolism the growth hormone promotes lipolysis so it increases the lysis of fat so releases the free fatty acid in the body and increases free fatty acids oxidation inside the liver so because of oxidation of fatty acid inside the liver there is generation of ketone bodies in the body so it increases the ketone bodies inside the body so causes the ketogenic effect in body due to the increased lipolysis it promotes the utilization of fat so spare the protein and causes protein deposition so because of that there is increase in body mass of the human being but this body mass is increased as a lean body mass not the fat body mass so by this mechanism growth hormone affect the fat metabolism of the human being now come to the carbohydrate metabolism so growth hormone mainly causes the insulin resistance of cells of the body so because of that it decreases the uptake and utilization of glucose inside the cell so it causes 
increased level of glucose in the body so causes hyperglycemia secondly the growth hormone increases the gluconeogenesis inside the liver so increases output of glucose from the liver in the blood so it causes again hyperglycemia third it causes decrease the glycolysis and because of decrease in glycolysis mechanism there is increase in glycogen store of the body so again it causes increased blood glucose level or hypoglycemia so all these effects are as a anti insulin effect so growth hormone causes anti insulin effect and when it causes the insulin resistance so it stimulate the insulin secretion in the body so this is the second way of growth hormone by which it enhances the body growth because insulin itself causes the anabolic effect on protein metabolism so growth hormone with the insulin excess insulin secretion causes protein metabolism and causes promotion in growth of the human being so see here as we discussed that it causes the hyperglycemia and it causes the anti insulin effect so it is a diabetogenic effect that produced by the growth hormone so we called the growth hormone uh, as a diabetogenic hormone also now come to the mineral metabolism that is affected by the growth hormone so growth hormone act on the mineral metabolism via the insulin like growth factor 1 or directly via the growth hormone itself so via the insulin like growth factor 1 it causes positive balance of calcium phosphate and magnesium ion inside the body so causes excess deposition of calcium phosphate and magnesium so causes the bone mineralization in the growing children growth hormone directly increases the retention of sodium potassium and calcium and chloride inside the nephron of uh, renal system or it causes the increased reabsorption of calcium phosphate and magnesium from the kidney so it causes the retention of minerals in the body so it shows the mineral corticoid like effect also now come uh, to the summary of metabolic effect of growth hormone so as we discussed in detail earlier that growth hormone affect the protein carbohydrate mineral and fat metabolism the growth hormone on protein metabolism it causes increase synthesis of proteins decreases the breakdown of protein inside body so it this effect is like insulin so this effect occurs with the help of igf1 or somatomedin c while on carbohydrate metabolism and on fat metabolism this effect occur via the its direct action and these carbohydrate effect carbohydrate metabolic effect of growth hormone and fat metabolic effect of growth hormone is like a cortisol like effect because on carbohydrate metabolism like the cortisol it causes hyperglycemia and causes diabetogenicity inside the human beings such so like that on fat metabolism like that of cortisol hormone it causes increase free fatty acid inside the human body and shows ketogenic effect so carbohydrate metabolism and fat metabolism both are cortisol like effect of growth hormone that occur via the direct action via on protein metabolism it act via the insulin like growth factor 1 and shows insulin like effect come to the mineral metabolism it causes retention of minerals so it shows mineral corticoid like effect it is also a direct effect of growth hormone so that is a summary of metabolic effect of growth hormone in human being now come to the effect of growth hormone on lactation so growth hormone causes pro lactin like effect on human body and increases milk production in the animals now come to the second most action of growth hormone that is it increases the growth of body so growth hormone causes increase in linear growth of an individual by this following mechanism well first growth hormone promotes the proliferation of chondrocytes that are the cartilage producing cells so it promotes the growth of chondrocytes and proliferate the chondrocytes and these chondrocytes 
increases mass of epiphysis by depositing the cartilage in the epiphyseal plate of bone so it increases the growth of epiphysis secondly growth hormone causes the enhancement of osteoblastic activity inside the bone because of that the chondrocytes the cartilage producing cells convert into the osteocytes the bone formation cell so because of increased osteoblastic activity cartilage converted into the bones so this occur till the adolescence up to the fusion of epiphysis with the shaft of bone so up till the adolescent before the fusion of epiphysis to the shaft of the bone bone increase in its length and in its thickness also but after fusion of epiphysis with the shaft of bone or after adolescence there is no increase in the length of bone but it causes the increase in thickness of bone so in adult when growth hormone secretes it causes only increase in thickness of the bone so this thickness of the bone increase in membranous bones like bone of face and skull so horizontal growth of persons occur after adolescence or after fusion of epiphysis with the bone thirdly it causes increased absorption and deposition of calcium in the bone so that effect is independent of igf1 and again increases the bone density and it also causes the increase in protein synthesis in the bone and add up into the increase in density of the bone so that is the action of growth hormone on human body growth so in summary the growth hormone if increase in secretion before adolescence or before fusion of epiphysis to the shaft of bone it increases the bone length and thickness both but after the adolescence or after the fusion of epiphysis with the shaft of bone this growth hormone increase only thickness of bone not in the length of bone so that's why it causes the horizontal growth of adults in human being so here we had finished with the functions of growth hormone on human bodies